So thanks for joining in for another video. Make sure you do subscribe to our channel and look at other videos, see what we've got going on. Because this one is going to be quite a controversial kind of decision that we're going to make after trying to decide what we're going to do. Initially we thought we were going to try and race in a Daniel Ricciardo series. And after speaking to quite a few people, um, Quite a few people are, uh, like the Dan Ricardo series and enjoy the Dan Ricardo series and in theory it's, uh, it's a good way of racing but what's changed my mind is, is the fact that you are stuck with one cart afterwards. When you race you cannot change that race setup so if you get an engine which isn't the best um, you're always going to get some parameters that are slightly different because you can't do anything to change it so you're stuck with that engine full stop. Um, and you're restricted to elsewhere where you, you, you could race. So we're going to go and see someone today. Uh, we're going to chat to and Josh, who's sitting there. Say hello, Josh. Hello. Louder. Hello. Can't hear you, Josh. Hello. And we're going to have a seat fitting to see if the car fits. And we're going to do something which is classed as quite, quite controversial from the people we're speaking. We're taking a massive step. We're going from arrive and drive carts and bypassing a cadet cart and going for potentially a Mini X30. And the reason speaking we're going for a Mini X30 is that once we have that cart, the chassis can be used throughout many years to come if we don't break it. So we're going to start with a restricted engine for the age of years and it's the same engine or you do take restrictions off as you get older. So you can keep that car for a long time and the engine, look after the engine, hopefully it will serve as well. Or if we do need to get a new engine, we just need to buy a new engine, with no chassis. So the idea is we're going to take this car throughout the summer and we will practice in it, ready for next year, it's 2020 and we're actually just coming out of lockdown from COVID-19. So, so potentially we can get a car and practice because that's all we can do at the moment and get used to the car, get used to the power, do some testing ready for next season. Some good advice I got was on the UK karting channel on Facebook which essentially actually wasn't a question that I asked. It's a good place to go and have a look and pick up bits and bobs of information of people and ask their opinions and you will get lots of opinions that are opinions. It doesn't mean that it's right for you but you get different points of view which is fantastic and I actually got the information from someone else who asked the question who were concerned about taking the maintenance over of a two-stroke engine from a Honda engine and a bit like myself is that I'm not very handy with spanners and this person said basically they were totally inept with spanners and they'd been racing in Honda for a year and their son had outgrown the Honda cart and they needed to get two stroke and they were concerned about it and the general information came back is just do it if you know a little bit about the Hondas and get on with it then all you've got to do is get experience with the two strokes adapt to it and you will be absolutely fine now my way of thinking of going to a team is you can take different levels of backup and support as to the package that you want. So you can ask for anything you want, depending on it, which outfit does what. But certainly where we're going to is that we can have different and varied amounts of support as to what we want. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. 